Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Sienna and on this channel we talk all things home decor, home aesthetics, mixing high and low with new and old. And in today's video it is a open shelf home decor haul. So if this is something you're interested in watching, please just keep on watching. And if you haven't yet already, I would love if you would like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button so you never miss a video. And if you're looking for some daily inspiration, I would love to have you over at Hannah Naylor on Instagram. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So my open shelving is finally complete. My husband and I have been working on this for the last couple days and I cannot wait to share this space with you. So be sure to tune into next video where we take you guys through the process of us building these shelves as well as an open shelving styling video. Cannot wait. So these items are all things that I have been picking up for the last couple days. The reason why I have been searching for decor for this space, you guys probably think I have a stuff already to use, which I do, but a lot of it is oversized for my shelves. There is only so much depth that I have to work with these shelves. So I had to be really strategic and intentional with my purchasing for this particular space, but I'm going to go into every single item that I have here. If I can link things, you guys know to check the description box without further ado, let's get into this haul. So the first three items are from at home. If you guys would have caught my shop with me, I did a shopping uh, video where I went to at home, checked out the new product, but I also picked myself up some items for the space, including these really beautiful wood candlestick holders. They're in a really dark wood. They're a little bit different from one another when you compare apples to apples, but I think these are really gonna pop against the backdrop of my wall. So the shelving is against white shiplap. So when I was purchasing for this space, the colors were something that I really paid attention to. If you buy a lot of things that are white or light in color, it's going to kind of get lost. So you guys will definitely tell within this haul, there's a lot of contrasting colors, a lot of texture. And I just thought these would be the perfect little element to add for the space. So that's the first item from at home. The second item is this really fun wood pedestal. So again, bringing in a lot of color, a lot of warmth to the space. This is just the perfect little riser. It's obviously, you can tell by the size of my hand what a good size it is. You guys could put a candle on this. You could get really creative with risers. I think these are really essential when it comes to styling open shelving because it just adds that height and adds another layer to your style. So this was a really fun little item I picked up and this guy was priced at $15. So that was the second. And then lastly, I picked up this really beautiful hourglass. I love bringing in just different texture. This kind of caught my attention because of the shape, because we are bringing in a different material, glass. Shelf styling is all about bringing in different textures, different elements to make it feel a little bit more visually appealing. So I thought this would be a really cool thing to add. And yeah, this guy I think was priced around $14 if I'm not mistaken. Um, it did come in different shapes and different sand colors. So this was another really fun item I picked up for this haul. So the next two items are super cool and they're from a company called Modern Wear Market, which I found a few years ago. And when I saw these, I had to buy them. I thought they were so cool. They blew my expectations when I got them in person. And I have a feeling by the time this video goes live that these will sell out rather quickly just because stock is a little bit less for a small business owner. So if you see them, you love them, snag them right away. This is what they are. I'll show them one at a time. They are a ruffle planter. So this is actually made out of tin, as you guys can see. This is the large version, and it's in this kind of like galvanized brass. You have the ruffle detailing, really cool shape. So that was the large one. And then it has its matching sister, which is a little bit smaller. Again, galvanized brass. It's a really beautiful, beautiful brass too. It's not in your face. But there was something about these that I was like, this would be the coolest decor element to add to shelving. You are adding movement through getting the ruffle. You're adding brass, so you're bringing in warmth. You're bringing in a different material, which is tin, and I just think these are gonna be so cool to style with. So if you want, you could use these as a planter. That's what they are labeled as, but I'm gonna be utilizing them as a standalone moment. So that is the next item on this decor. So the next item is a faux potted plant that I picked up from a boutique here in San Diego. That is what it looks like. It's a little bit of a muted green succulent plant. It kind of is in this like concrete terracotta planter. You guys can see. Now I know I wanna bring more greens to the space. So when I found this, I thought this would be a really beautiful addition because it's not in your face green. It's low profile, it's a little bit smaller. We're bringing in texture through this kind of succulent like plant. 
I love the neutral base of this and I thought this would be really beautiful to style with. So this was a really fun little plant that I picked up for this space. I picked up another coffee table book for this space. I picked up a bunch from Home Goods recently, but this was one that I purchased on Amazon. And this is what it's called. It's called Style, The Art of Creating a Beautiful Home, which I absolutely love that. The cover is absolutely stunning. And someone suggested that if I pick up coffee table books to actually maybe show a couple pages so you guys can get the idea of what the inside looks like. So let me flip to a few pages so you guys can see. So this is a really beautiful book. I love the coloring of this. It's just super contrasty, very moody, and that's what I'm kind of going for in my home. So again, this was another item I picked up from Amazon. It's called Style. So the next item is from Magnolia Home. When I saw this, I had to pick it up because the shape was just screaming by me. <laughs> it is a really fun picture. So you guys can see how big it is compared to me. It's a pretty good size picture, very heavy to the touch. It's, it, it is black, but it almost is showing blue on camera. It's kind of got this like distressing on top of it, almost like a powdery of like dirt. The handle's really cool. If you guys can see up there, it's got like etching on the handle there the top is a pitcher form but i was really excited to have this for like the top shelf to bring some height we have movement through the different shaped handle and i just thought this was so cool so again this guy is from magnolia so the last portion of today's video is going to feature all of the items that i picked up from a recent vintage shop with me if you haven't caught that video i'll make sure to link it here in the cards but i went to a event called the great junk hunt here in san diego where it was a 70,000 square foot building full of vendors from all over, from handmade items to vintage, antique, you name it, they had it. And I picked up a couple items that I was waiting to put in this particular video. So let's get straight into it, starting with these really beautiful selenite bowls. I got two, I got a little bit larger one and a smaller one. My thought process is I'm going to actually put a little bit of rice at the bottom of this bowl to elevate it. That way when they were stacked on top of my shelving, you'll be able to see them. But I love stone, I love natural elements, and these were just really beautiful and a really great price. So that was the first item. The second item I picked up were these beautiful stone beads. If you guys would have caught that video, they had a variety of these at a lot of the different vendors. Black, bone, like sea foam, glass beads. They had a variety of these, but I really loved this color. I already have a pair of black beads in a smaller, smaller bead form, but I just loved this like natural color. It was really, bit, it was very different that I saw and I thought these would be really fun to style with. I think beads just add movement, they add another layer, you can wrap them around a vase, you can have them dripping over coffee table books. There's endless possibilities on decorating with beads, so that was another item that I snagged when I was there. This one's a little bit random, but I thought this would be really fun for styling. This is an oversized sage stick. Wow, that is a mouthful oversized sage stick. So I love, you know, like kind of going back to the whole crystals and like the natural elements. I really enjoy bringing elements like this to my home and my space. I love good energy and good vibes here. I've never been able to get a hold of one at this size. So I thought this would be really cool to style with. So I picked up an oversized sage stick for my shelving. I picked up another one of those stamps. I have two of them already that I picked up at two separate locations at antique stores here in San Diego. But at this event, they had a whole bowl of them. It was so hard to pick which one I wanted, but I thought this one was super cool. And one thing really cool, they'll stand straight up like this by itself because they do have these handles on the back for actually stamping. So I looked for one that would able to be stood upright. You could even have these standing like this on top of a coffee table book. They're just so cool. They're so different. They're unique from one another. There was not one of these that looked the same. They were all completely different. And I just love that. Again, we're mixing new and old and I'm here for it. So I got myself another one of those vintage stamps for style. So this next item is considered a washboard and I just, I just gravitated towards this. I do not know what it was about it, but I was like, I need that for my shelves. I think this would be such a cool piece to add. There is nothing about this piece that is supposed to be perfect. You guys can see it's got the ridging there. It is very textured. It is weathered, it is used. I absolutely love it. So if you guys can kind of see, can you see what I'm seeing here? Do you see it? Texture, movement. 
This could be also really cool styled on your backsplash of your kitchen if you have cutting boards and stuff like that. This is a little bit of a different shape than a normal cutting board, but I thought this was so fun, unique, and special. So this was the other item that I picked up. All right, the very last items of this haul are two really fun pots. I'll show them one at a time for you guys. I picked up this really beautiful, I believe it is a terracotta bowl. It is kind of round shaped at the base. Here is the coloring. You can tell it's got a lot of kind of imperfections, which is awesome. I love the ridge detailing here at the top. So I picked up the small one and then I picked up a larger one. So you guys can see kind of the direction that I'm heading. This guy's a lot larger. So I plan to put some greens in this one and some florals. And I thought they would be really cool paired together. One thing cool when I was at this, um, at this event is they had a bunch of these, but they were all so different. So you kind of had to like mess around with the different shapes and sizes, see which one you liked. But I thought these would be really fun to add for this shelving style. And again, so much texture, so much beautiful coloring. I love that it is different uh, from one another and yeah. That is the very last home decor haul. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this open shelving styling haul. Like I said in my intro, I will do my best to link everything down below. The same items, if not something similar, because obviously I have vintage items here, so I will do my best to find other sellers that sell the same things. Be sure to tune into next video for my open shelving styling video, as well as the process we took in order to make our shelves. But until next time, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.